reasons? An airplane. Can I show you? Oh, yes, I'd love to see it, please. Please. Okay, let me show you. I could go inside it. We're gonna go. You built an airplane that's big enough for you to go inside. Yeah, but I can only crawl inside. I can't walk inside. But you sure can have a lot of imaginary fun time playing in there, can't you? Yeah, I can even move it a little bit too. That's excellent. So I decided to just um, build, build, a, build a few slush. More slush. Mm, a few slush. Just a few slush, eh? Mm -hmm. just, just the starting of the fuselage. You're a fantastic person. Do you know that? No. You are. You're pretty fantastic, Rashnika. I'm so lucky I got to have you in my class. You're pretty fantastic. Um, do you know that you're in grade two now? I do not know that. Yeah. I have to send your mom and dad the the paper with all the write-up on it, I'll send them that at the end of this month, and I'll send it to them and tell them all the things. But you're in grade two now. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So oh, all funny. of my other friends are in grade one, right? Um, yeah, they'll be coming to grade two, though. They're going to come with you. What do you think about that? So um, I'm first. I'm first. That's good. That's good, right? Who would you like to come to grade two with you, do you think? Because Mrs. Miss Moran doesn't have a grade two class. I only have a K1 class. So if I'm going to put you in a grade two class, who should I who should I try to see if they can come with you? Hmm. Is it two people? Two people? No, three. Tell me three people that you would like to have beside you in grade two. Sure, I'm ready. Um, All right. Winston, David, mm -hmm. and Reed. Right? Mm hmm Excellent. I can't tell you that all those kids would be with you, but I just wanted to know who your friends were. Right? You miss them quite a bit, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I miss Winston a lot, too. He's gone on a, a trip with his family way far up into the northern part of Canada. Yeah, I used to go to this hotel. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't believe it this was such a long trip and we had to go for like such a short jobs. But, so we had to go to a hotel. But this is the shocking part. Okay. Um, The hotel was called Hilton too. Really? Yeah, just like one of our classmates was called Hilton. Hilton. That's pretty cool. Um, when you're ready, are you back at your spot? Do you have your book in front of you? Yeah, I do. You wanna, are you ready to read it to me, or did you want to tell me anything else cool and exciting first? Uh, yeah, a tiny bit more. Okay, tell me. I'm ready. Sit down, baby. Sit down, baby. I love listening to you, Russell. Tell me the rest. I'm ready. I can say properly. Um, and the problem was that the, 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 the hotel <clears throat> didn't have enough, like, because of the virus, they couldn't have a buffet, sadly. Oh, do you like buffets then? Um, yeah, a little bit. I sure didn't like the hotel we went in Sri, Sri Lanka because he just like it. Do you know, my friend, you remind me of him a lot because your name is Rashnika and his name was Sashka. And he lived in Colombo and he lived at a really beautiful hotel in Colombo. He was learning how to be a hotelier and learning all about how to be really awesome like they have because they have those awesome hotels in Sri Lanka. So I bet those hotels are super spectacular. Yeah, me too. I was felt like I was living in my house. <clears throat> I'd love to go there. My mom and dad went to Sri Lanka, but only 
for like the day. Just for like one day. They took a cruise ship through the ocean and they saw they came from like mm, the Asian sort of coast and then they cruised down past India and Sri Lanka and around in there and then came and then they they finished in India and then they flew home from like somewhere in northern India. But they but they got to see Sri Lanka and the boat docked in the bay and then they got off the cruise ship and went into Sri Lanka for the day. I'd love to be able to do that. And there were pirates when they were on their cruise ship. There were real life pirates and they had to put these water cannons out on the shore, out on the top of their ships, and they put razor wire down the side of the cruise ship to protect them. And then at night, they couldn't have any lights on. They had to just sail their cruise ship in the dark. Cool, huh? Cool. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. So are you ready to read with me now? Uh, how about this? Um, after I read, can I, tell, can I tell you the rest? You, well, tell me a little bit now, because it means so much to me to hear what you have to say. 